player of that game is to play me, and so I knew I was already gonna like have a hell of a game when, when I was playing that person. Yeah. Shout out to Goober, bro. Speaking of stacked matches, we got Carflow coming in from versus John Numbers. These are two players that are no strangers to top aiding Zeno. We've got. I feel like this is kind of the story of the the unstoppable force meets an, meets an immovable object. Carflow, John Numbers, For respectively. Sure. We're seeing it right now with John Numbers like on the ledge, stalling, doing what Wii Fits do best. Yeah, and I mean, especially John, as the Wii Fit player that he is, kind of definitely pushing that meta in uh, patient play. John, I feel like, plays like no other Wii Fit that I know of. Of course. He's like truly the only one doing just like crazy these Wii Fit shenanigans. When he goes red, he's actually he scared. Actually That's the Kaioken. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Times five, times ten. Yeah. But we have Roy with a quick jab back here. Yeah. That conversion is so good with Roy. And, and the reason he's a top tier is because he has those conversions plus his movement speed. Yeah, no, I feel like what this matchup is really going to come down to is Carflow making the most out of the openings that he gets. John is not going to make these openings easy, so it's going to be on Carflow yes. to really extend them, which we've already seen, but a great F-tilt by John catching Carflow, trying to go for that uh, that platform. Really kind of a bad position for Carflow, because he wasn't really able to drift towards ledge. He had to go to that platform or go low. Once John knew that, he just like, set up and waited for that f to connect. Great patience for him. Great coverage by John using that Sun Salutation to keep Carflow out, making sure he's not able to get these huge openings. Even at the ledge, John is keeping it tricky. Like, he's waiting specifically for certain spots for Carflow to like, press a button and then mm -hmm. attack him after this. And almost getting the reversal, that would have been a great spike and great lead for John. Yeah, unfortunately not able to get the spike there, meaning Carflow gets another lease at life. May find a kill here. Good tech chase into the grab, okay. John just rolls onto the ledge. Extremely fast, and usually he takes his time, so that itself is a mix-up. Great neutral be at ledge, almost getting the ball conversion too. <laughs> almost, almost oh, getting the, the top 10 betrayals. <laughs> Eat smash clips, where you at? Jumping, just hopping. Oh, but that's a deep breathing up air, meaning Carflow can be losing his second stock. That's an easy kill for sure. Deep breathing oh. just gives Weefit so many more like conversions and like, just the scare factor too. <laughs> really, really puts pressure. But we have Roy's speed here coming in action, and just Roy's like big bubble of like pain, bubble of swinging area is just so much. And yeah, Roy. Roy has an incredible heat map of just like. These are all of the spaces that you should not feel safe. And he can get so much off of these, like, a straight convert, like, up air, into up air, into up air. That could have been a nair into an up air, a nair into a back air, but Carflow can get so much off of that. Not even too good, like, off of so little. It's a great timing mix up by John using that sock ball to try and get Carflow back off of the ledge to give him just a little bit of space to start setting up his own pressure, and they're sharking with the. The Wii Fit forward air fingertips mm -hmm. just barely poking okay. through Town I, City. I love John using that because honestly, it's so hard to know if it's going to really connect, but he just surprises the players, I feel like. Mm -hmm. they, they definitely don't see it coming. But the more he uses it, yeah, like the up air too, like the more they use, he uses it, the more uh, vulnerable he can become to like maybe boys like mix up that low. Gotta be careful. Just getting poked by these little sun salutations. Carflow trying to take its time here on the center platform. You definitely see this Roy is definitely playing patiently, but I think he has to match like John's patience. Otherwise, he can he can just run into a sun salutation, like, drop shield and get hit by a back air. Yeah, you just jabbed John's shield and got back air for it. That's it. Feel the burn. Sometimes you don't know when you're supposed to respect your opponent's shield, or other times when you have to rush in, and that's yeah. what I feel like Roy has to like figure out in a lot of matchups when to and rush in and when to not. And I feel like one. Part, or one point in particular that you really have to respect John Shield is when John has deep breathing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That was a deep breathing back air. <laughs> no way Carflow is living that. I'm sure all of his moves just do more shield stun and just you know more damage, more kill power. Mm -hmm. It's it's very it's very scary. Let's yeah. see what stage they go to now. Going, uh, going to back to town. They're just running yeah, back. Yeah, see, which I mean, just a fantastic stage for Roy. We saw Carflow get some crazy early kills in game one. So we're going to see Carflow looking to keep that momentum going. <laughs> Great down to that ledge, just poking the ball away. Right now, he's keeping John at the ledge. And let's see if John is in the answers. Amazing Good forward night. smash. 
out of there. And that's what I'm saying. If you if you know when to go in and when to swing, you will reap the rewards. You will reap what you sow. Absolutely. But wait. It looks like John is now fighting back. He's gotten Garfield already to 95. A deep breathing edge guard will definitely kill you. Right, but now you've got... Uh, you're stuck at ledge, ledge again. against Roy. <laughs> the same place you lost your last stock to. You've got to play it careful. Okay, great rolling. You never want to tech towards ledge mm -hmm. against Roy. That, the dancing blade is such like a, a scary thing to even think about. Multiple hits of just pure death. Pure KOs. Right, full throw. Definitely not going to be taking it without deep breathing. But does allow John to set up at ledge again. Carflo, Carflo I really feel like John has John's rhythm at ledge right now. We've yeah. seen John try to throw out these timing mix-ups of when he's going to throw out the soccer ball or something like that, and Carflo's just been ready for every single one. I think him using more down tilt at ledge and like shielding here and there, not is, is like making John like kind of it's catching him off guard because down tilt's so fast. It's it's hard to really know exactly when he's going to stop. Yeah, that's why he's still at 170. Like John just needs that one fi finishing blow, but there you have it. There we go. And starting to charge up the Sun Salutation, I really feel like, oh, never mind, Sun Salutation is gone. So he, went, he went back to ledge for that deep breathing, but once again, Carflow demonstrating that he understands John's like patterns now at ledge. Yeah, I feel like John's going to have to find a different rhythm. I really feel like if Carflow is like down tilting the ledge in that same way, then I feel like Sun Salutation is probably the answer there. That is going to yeah. blow up Carflow and get him off the ledge. True. It's just when he uses it, he has to like be careful not to drift too far. Otherwise, Roy can definitely explain him off ledge if he's close. But right now, John is scrambling, looking for answers. He he's about to get lapped in percent as well. He needs to find something to catch Buffalo like slipping. Yep. Does have the deep breathing on deck. Able to roll Good. back into stage. Soccer ball action. There we go. Finally using that Sun Salutation to catch Carflow, hold him forward a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. That was good, because he hasn't really used it too much, and I feel like that move definitely helps get respect or command respect uh, from, like, Wii Fit Another great, you know, really just reaction coming out from Carflow on these timing mix-ups. John just hasn't been able to get comfortable at ledge. Yeah, it's either he rolls or he, he just stalls again, but if you stall for too long, Carflow will just have a whole myriad of things. Beautiful ledge front. Because he knew he was going to stall at ledge. Mm -hmm. That was smart. Yeah, it's like, all right, you're going to you know sit at ledge and try to mix up your timing. What if I just mix you instead and grab the ledge? <laughs> exactly, like immediately. He hasn't done that the entire set, so mm -hmm. we have ourselves a game three. Hmm. What do you? What kind of adaptations do you think John has to make in order to like get off of ledge better and challenge Carlson? I feel like we definitely have to see a bit more sun salutation yeah. coming out because Carflow has been playing very hitbox heavy at the ledge and that's what that's been what's messing John up is John hasn't been able to set up like soccer ball and of course you know sun salutation requires a bit more like setup yeah but I feel like if you know John is able to get Carflow off of the ledge and Make him make Carflow uncomfortable at ledge, then John can start yeah. throwing the soccer balls back into the mix. <laughs> right now, John is definitely uh, demonstrating that he's adapted from the last game because he's barely been touched. And he's been able to get off ledge until I just, until like, okay, two down tilts. Yeah, and we can see John, you know, taking his time back at ledge again because he knows at this percent he doesn't have to be scared of the ledge drum. Yeah. All right, Sun Salutation back on deck. Gonna see. Just a neutral getup. Yeah, Carflow's starting to play things a little bit more safe. Yeah, he backed off. He kind of gave John a little bit of the stage, and, he, and John will definitely take that. <laughs> There's some salutation, just a get off me. Suck ball. <laughs> Ooh, he, re he knew that double jump was coming. He immediately like scouted it out. That was good from John. Yep, and we've got deep breathing now on deck again, which means John could be racking up some serious damage. It's close. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, you got to respect Roy at ledge, though. At th this percent, it can still be kill percent for a weak fit, especially with the dancing way right now. He's got to play it very carefully. Otherwise, a repeat of game two can happen. In. I haven't seen the that. Soccer ball. Okay. That was so close. I, I think the <laughs> soccer ball might have hit. It just barely ran out of yeah. the time to live. Yeah, it just like evaporated. 
His deep breathing is definitely helping Kondo. His movement speed and just everything is really important to get over. That is going to be it, though, the reversal up B. That was like one of the first get-up attacks I, I saw from John 2, and Carful punished it. Ooh. That was great. Ill-advised air dodge down means John's getting some damage right now, but getting put back at ledge again. This has just kind of been the eternal question of this matchup. Yeah. It's been a le it's been really like who dominates that ledge more. When they're on stage, it, they really like respect each other at least when not, so they're giving each other a lot of space. Carflow still being aggressive at ledge, even though John does have sun salutation. Great shield, shield. Art, though. He's respecting the sun salutation now. Let's see if John will like mix in more grabs, because you really haven't seen too many grabs from both players in here. Oh, just gets the soft hit of back air. That was close. Wouldn't have been a kill, but great positioning for there. Good grab. Let's see. What are they gonna do? Deck. Instant dash attack. Okay. Yeah, super active, so gonna be able to catch yeah. Carflow's landing. He definitely wanted a back air right there. Oh, another dash attack, okay. Let's see if Carful can uh, adapt to that, maybe shield, move around it. Right now, this this next kill is very important for this last stop. Whoever gets it is going to be in a great position for taking Absolutely. the suit. carful has got to watch that shield. Yeah. He tried to come in really aggressively to try and stop John from uh, charging that sun salutation. I like Carful's patience right there at ledge. He knew that John was looking for the kill. And great jab to back there. Yeah. Ooh, John not happy about it. He knows that's that's yeah. a huge momentum shift for in favor of Carflow. Mm -hmm. And Carflow's taking an inch and get it, um, running a mile right now. 33%. The quick uh, grab follow-up. John is starting to swing a little more, and he's paying the price. All right, some citation off offline, which means John has to be a little bit more careful at ledge, especially now with deep breathing offline as well. Carflow is just dancing around this platform, able to get... Wow. Oh, Ooh. wow, that was so close. That was a great air dodge read. I Carflow had that scouted out, and great spike to finish the set off. Wow. John is not happy about that one. I mean, yeah. I feel like almost uncharacteristic of John. I feel like John is typically so good at scouting out, like, down air attempts at ledge like this. We always mm -hmm. see, yeah, John did drift out, but I think drifted in just a little bit yeah. too early, maybe? Mm -hmm. Let's see the play-by-play. -play. So, oh, he, got, he actually two frames two in. Two frames, that, that's why. The goddess of victory definitely blessed Carflow right there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as soon as he took that... uh. Um, second stock to go leading into the final stock. He just had so much momentum and he just mm -hmm. ran away with it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of what we were talking about before is the unstoppable force and immovable wall. wall. Yeah. That was a great set though. It was